So now it's time to really break down the mechanics, the step-by-step -step procedure for helping someone to go into trance using this specific instant induction. We've talked a lot about having H plus for the hypnotist. We've talked in the last video about ensuring that we have compliance. Once you truly see that there is a congruence within the client and the compliance is there, they maybe have even raised their hand already, you're looking for that fixation of attention. Think back to the video. We asked the volunteer to focus particularly on their fingers and to particularly notice which finger is going into trance first. Their attention was entirely focused on their hand and not only on their hand but on which finger was feeling something. Once the finger had been noted they were asked to note when and how that feeling was moving up the arm, to the wrist, to the elbow, to the shoulder. And at the same time, something else was happening, wasn't it Jess? It certainly was. And this is another one of the uh, experiences, phenomena that are, is very mysterious to a lot of hypnotists, and that's the use of catalepsy. Catalepsy, the balancing between the muscles in the arm so that it almost feels weightless for the person experiencing it is a natural part of our day-to-day -day experience. In fact, we do it very frequently and not even realize it. Within the hypnotic context and within the scope of this induction, it occurs through the fixation of attention. So if I were to borrow Sarah's arm, sure. thank you so much, and just let it loosen, there you go. The very first step to getting catalepsy, when someone raises their arm, you may find that it's a little bit heavy. You begin to move it in subtle ways, there you go, and notice that as that happens, the hand has a tendency to support itself. With someone who is more experienced in going into hypnosis, and people who happen to be very naturally deep trance subjects, this will occur very quickly. And as you invite them to notice their fingers and which finger is going in the trance first, as the hand's in catalepsy, you may begin to notice one of the fingers twitching, indicating that yes, this is the finger that's going to be going in the trance first. The subject may be aware of it or they may not be. I like to always, regardless of whether or not they're aware, to ask them to verbally commit to which finger. Because once again, this is another establishment of um, compliance. So catalepsy is something that's very easy to get. It's a trait of hypnosis. It's a hypnotic phenomenon. And if you have the catalepsy happening, trance is already starting to occur. Suggestions are already being followed, which means you're ready for the next step. Full motion returning back. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> the next step is a very simple tap on the back of the head. The subject's already in trance. They may or may not realize it. The tap on the back of the head and the giving of the suggestion sleep is a ritual that lets them know, yes, now is the time you can close your eyes and drift all the way down. The tap on the back of the head, and it's a very gentle tap, just done with one or two fingers. And you're not trying to force their head down. It's just to provide a little bit of a startle to make their mind go, hmm, what's going on here? Something's different. This is a moment of trance. And when you give the command to sleep, the suggestion to sleep, inside the mind of the client, they're going to be automatically accessing the connections, the neural networks that are associated with sleep. And this is very useful because while that, that suggestion doesn't really have any type of magic to it, when you have someone accessing the connections to sleep, relaxation, comfort, ease, then it gives them a direction to go in, a very simple and quick direction to go in. And there you have the very traditional eyes closed, head down, trance experience.